Hello my friends and welcome to Open Studio D. I'm Vlad Duchev and today we are going to another competition. Uh, we are going to Gloucester, Virginia uh, called Gloucester Plain Air Competition. Uh, it's actually longer. My previous um, competition was like two, three, three days. This is actually five days or six days competition and we are packing. So I will show you what I normally put in my car, what I take with me. Here we go! Sorry for the noisy environment. Um, we have cicadas, so you can hear the noise. All right, anyway, so this is box number one that I take with me. I have my um, boards, data boards, with the canvases uh, glued to it. I use solid adhesive. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six boards like this, so I will be able to cut them, whatever. And I normally I have one from previous competition, and this is what I do six stamps. So, any way I cut it, I have one stamp. I just take this just, just in case. Then I have my hat, painting hat, and I have a frame. So, I have two what is this? Two five by seven, two six by eight. I have nine by twelve. Uh, then I have twelve by twelve. This is eleven by thirteen. Twelve by sixteen. Twelve by sixteen, and eight by sixteen. And I also have it's actually inside. I will take two uh, fourteen by eighteen. It's a bigger size. I normally don't pay more than uh, twelve by sixteen, but for some reason I think you know I may I may jump with something larger. We will see. So this is what I have. And I have some small panels right here. I took a six by eight. I will stamp them just in case. So this is what, is, what we have in this box. And this box is going right here. Now I have two other boxes. Um, this box is actually my extra paint. Uh, just in case I need the extra paint. I have it. I'm running out of paint, and there's no supply store uh, nearby. And I know Gloucester probably there's no art store. Uh, closest supply will be probably a couple hours. So I don't want to waste all this time driving. Getting if I need uh, if I'm running out of paint, so this is why I have this extra paint. I have a gimso. I have varnish and repel. mosquito, and which is very important ticks. Um, okay. That's in this box. Directions of this, you know, and schedule for actual plain air event. So this is right here. Uh, this box is my electronics. I have LED light. I decided to paint a nocturne. I have a battery, extra batteries, two actual batteries, and then stuff for computer and for recording. Just, just in case. Um, so this is. Two boxes of so this. Next one is my backpack, and I have uh, my easel, day tripper easel, my trusty uh, day tripper easel, uh, extra paint. I have a video actually on other. Oh, you know what? Let me show you. So I have my underpainting and gimso in, inside this box. I have brushes and palette knives. I have to separate. This is my uh, palette. Knives that I take with me, five pallet, pallet knives, different sizes. Uh, then I have this is my set of brushes. I took extra, I normally take six. In this case, it's a cicada. <laughs> I have extra brush because it was in the middle of nowhere, so I took my underpainting brushes and finished brushes. So, this are my these are my brushes. Then I have my painting box, oil painting box. This is what I have always with me. All sets, everything. And my day tripper. Trusty day tripper um, that I use all the time. Now, uh, what else I have here is uh, in this compartment I have just paper. 
uh, pick towels and some extra like value scales uh, uh, location not location it's uh, um, what do you call it the um, thing I'm not actually using it then my grayscale um, prism I will show you how to use it so this is a top top emergency first emergency kit right here and then my sketch apart from sketchbook and my pencils in this one, uh, which I do. Alright, so this is what is inside my bag and let me know if you want to see in details what I take with me in my planner in my bag. I mean, this is what I take. Alright, so this is on and this time I I had a hard time. What what secondary easel I would take. And I decided to give another chance for open box and easel. Just, I want to give another chance. Um, for some reason, I don't know. I thought I would retire this because it's like, in my opinion, it's, you know, there is much better easel. But for some reason, I decided, you know, let's respect, you know, the uh, Rolls Royce or what used to be a Rolls Royce. So we're going to take this as a secondary. So this will be our secondary diesel. I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna put it somewhere so I make sure it's not on the way. I'll put it here. And then and then I have a tripod, my tripod, a tripod, uh with day tripper upright. We we'll take this and we take the umbrella. This is my umbrella, uh, umbrella, or if there's direct sun, it cannot hide anywhere. I will use this. I rarely using it, but <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna take this. Let's see, and then you know we take <clears throat> a bunch of. Tissues uh, or napkins, not tissues, napkins, and a couple of rolls of. Couple of rolls of oh, I forgot this. Let me grab this. And this is my framing box. So, what I have in the framing box, this will be my cleaning to clean the brushes. Uh, master Skull Brush Cleaner, Master Brush Cleaner. I have small and big one, and out. I will shoot a video actually how to clean the brushes. Uh, so we'll look at this. Then I have, oops, I have this is when you unpacking and packing, and actually somebody will buy the grip and packing. We can actually wrap it to just clear wrapping tape. I have this just in case with me, and a bunch of stuff for framing. So this is my uh, stapler. Um, cutter, drill to, to install, and wire, so everything for framing actually inside this box. Knife, because I have big canvases, so I have this metal ruler and a knife to make sure I can cut the canvases the way I need it. Alright, uh, find a place, good place for this. Uh, that's it. This is what it will take, and my trusty Raymar um, wet uh, canvas carrier. Uh, this is 8 by 8 by 10 or 8, and this is 12. So anything by 12. All right. So this is this is it. This is what we're gonna take on this trip. So let's put everything in. You know, everything is actually here. So let me call my wife and hit the road. My wife decided to take the bikes. I mean, for, the, for, for her it's vacation, so I decided, okay, let's take the bike, so let's hit the road.
Okay guys, so we just got in into our Airbnb right behind me. The tiny, <laughs> really tiny. It's called Tiny Winnie, Win, Tiny Winnie uh, Guest House. Um, kind of expensive, but it's okay. Inside it's just one studio, one big room and kitchen and everything together. Um, but it, you know, I'm gonna paint outside anyway, so this is just a space for my wife to, you know, to be in the um, forest to spend the night. Um, it's okay. It's kind of you know, we normally rent a little bit bigger, but that's okay. That's okay. All right. So the plan for today is uh, I just unload everything, put everything in a tiny weenie uh, guest house, <laughs> and um, I'm gonna go to or we are going to location scouting as usually. I can normally come one day before the event and instead of spending one day and wasting one day of painting because um, I, I don't paint just you know just drive stop and paint I need to find something that is you know I, I will get the butterflies um, and where I know that wow this is exactly what I want to paint this is this is I, I have a feeling toward that uh, that scenery or you know uh, location so what I'm gonna do right now my wife will be spending time just unpacking and uh, whatever and she has actually a Bible study today online. We are going to scout. I have a map, the administrate, uh, the plain air administration gave us, uh, or organizer gave us the map, uh, recommended sites. Anyway, we will check the recommended site as well, but we will see maybe we can find something special. Um, it's, it looks like it's a, you know, a lot of good, it's a historical place, a lot of good locations. So. Guys, I'm just sitting in the car for the past 45 minutes because it was raining like crazy, really crazy. Um, looks like it's stopping. So this is where we're going to go. So the plein air guys gave us uh, all these locations right here, here, and here. Uh, we are staying somewhere here. Uh, so we're gonna check, and I think I have a list of actually addresses, something like this. So this is this is nice from um, the organizer of plein air to give us the uh, you know locations right here. And we are going to stop by and see, and check it out. All right, and we'll go probably like one, two, three, four, what is it, 10? Yeah, 10 spots. And they are all, so all right here. Majority is right here in the same spot, then two over here. Uh, one is actually far away over here and then another over here All right, let's let's it's five or six o'clock. We have at least two hours. I think we can we can hit it Guys, I did dumbest thing in the world <laughs> For some reason I did, I thought the place where I rent uh, Airbnb was like 15 or like 20 minutes away from um, From the event Guess what? It is almost 48 minutes. In a quarter mile, turn left onto State Route 629. So, I just drove 40 minutes, and I'm still at 10 minutes to drive. Uh, so, uh, this is the first stop that we're gonna make. Turn left onto and State Route 629. The good thing is, the sun is up, so let me make a turn. Sun is up and um, looks like it will be promising evening. Oh, this is nice. Continue Look on State that. Route 629 for one and a half right, miles. I'm stop here. All right, so this is the first stop. The second stop is close by here, so we'll do two stops so you can find something to paint, take some photographs, uh, and then maybe we we'll can uh, check another. Um, another three, but we'll see, you know, if we have time. If not, uh, I guess we're gonna spend 
um, sometimes tomorrow because I want to check all this all these locations uh, before I start even painting uh, I just hate being something that I don't like I need to see this we'll kill those butterflies okay so we just got the first point our first checkpoint it was raining hard so everything is wet all right let's see what we got here let me show you what we got here not bad I'm not sure we can paint we can get anything from this so let me show you this is what we got let me flip the camera actually look at that ray uh, rainbow you see that rainbow right here gorgeous rainbow all right, let me flip the camera and I'll show you and just take some photographs and see if we can get something. But actually, yeah, let me flip the camera and I'll show you. It's not bad, uh, not really kind of something. Yeah, beach, water, I'm not sure. All right, let me show you. Okay, so this is what we got. This is actually a really nice country shore. But that's what we got. Beach, water, and this is what we got all around. All right, so let me take some photographs and see if I can make something from this. I mean, this is a real nice relaxation place, <laughs> but I'm not sure it's still a good paintable spot. All right, so this is stop number one. I don't see anything that I can kind of jump. This is a nice country room. Let's check. I like, I like this. You can see, let me flip the camera so I can see. I like that. Uh, yeah, you can see it right behind me. See this? Right, this house. I may have some do something with that. Let's focus on that. So maybe, maybe that's something we can do. Let me uh, take some photographs from this, from this right, from this view. I like this contour. So if you take from here, make sure I'm not on the property, someone's property. Yeah, I like this shadows. And this. So let me take this photograph. All right, this was step number one. I took the photographs. Um, let's check <laughs> location number. It's not bad. Right there. We can pull something from it. But again, no butterflies. But again, I go through this all the time. I come and check five, six locations. No, I, nothing I can paint. And I come back to Airbnb really upset and guess what next day I'll find something completely different <laughs> all right so let's go and check location number two look at this character right there I forgot to mention so the place where we're going right now is actually commercial uh, commercial uh, fishermen marine or something like that uh, where right. you know, professional watermen are loading and unloading I guess um, I hope that's a place yes, the smell is terrible <laughs> oh I know why look at this all this fish Woo. look at this this is the uh, heads of the fish <laughs> So this is, a, I think this is the right place. But look at the, look at this. Wow, let me take the photograph. I have really good feeling about this. Look at this. That's gorgeous. I took some photographs, but I'm gonna take, uh, let me take another photograph while it's doing this. Um, I'm definitely, this is, this is. <laughs> By the way, while I'm driving, we're going to location number three. I remember several several people were asking me when I'm looking, when I'm scouting, 
what is my criteria for uh, for locations? What I'm looking for? And you know what? This is a good question. I mentioned it um, in my several videos. Your your questions, guys, are awesome. Sometimes they are so challenging. I, I, I I'm asking myself like. So, and this is the question. Like when I read that question in, in several times from different people, I was like, "Wow." Uh, so what I'm looking for, and I took it took me probably a couple of hours to analyze because I know what I'm looking for about it. Just to explain what I'm looking for it was like like a dead stop. So what I'm looking for. The first thing I'm looking for something simple. Um, and probably in criteria number one, as I mentioned many, many times, uh, scouting, I'm looking for, you know, those stomach butterflies or butterflies in my stomach. Saying it's not like when somebody's proposing. <laughs> it, it is um, the feeling when I, when I look at the uh, scenery or the, the motive or location and or anything subject and in my mind I'm painting like in the seconds and I know exactly what I need to do I know how I'm gonna paint I, I, I know the composition I know like it's it's I'm not sure how to, to explain it but it's like it's it's basically like the seconds in your mind and you're going through the whole entire process of painting um, yeah, and you know what? I never ask other other artists if they have the same thing, but this is what I have, and this is what I'm looking for. If I'm looking for some, for example, right in front of me right now is is gorgeous. I mean, I'm not gonna stop because I will be late. But this is, you know, I know exactly how to paint this right now. So this is what I'm looking. I'm looking for like something very simple. The combination of. Uh, fight between the light and darkness uh, you know the beam of light going through the darkness I always looking for the fight the, you know the, the um, contrast well people call it contrast I call it fight so I'm looking for the simplicity first simplicity second those butterflies in my stomach that I know or those milliseconds or seconds in my mind when it's going so fast and in my mind I already painting that, that, that you know that scenery it's happening not really often unfortunately <laughs> and unfortunately when especially on plain air events uh, you know you have to produce because people you know they allocate a table or allocated the wall for you sometimes in the good competitions they have you know the wall in the gallery it was your name and they spent time doing all this marketing and so you have to produce you're kind of against the wall you have to produce and I have to produce good but at the same time and I, I went to this many many times so I'm, I'm, I'm scouting I'm scouting and it's like nothing completely not like just like you know whiteboard uh, nothing you can put on it and then you have to produce so what I do I will just you know, I take a lot of when I'm scouting. I'm just looking at my GPS, make sure I'm missing. The sun is going down. So when I'm scouting, I'm taking a lot of photographs as a reference. For example, today I, I, I have only two two spots, completely nothing. I, I I just you know look around. It's like really, and this is location that they kind of you know the um, the organizer of Plein Air gave us the list of location, recommended location. It's a great recreational location, but it's not really great painting, a kind of paintable uh, locations. At least for me, I don't know. Maybe I'm too picky. But anyway, so this is what I do when I like completely white. I mean, there's like whiteboard. I'm calling whiteboard that is me meaning there's no nothing on that board. It's like bl blank, right? So what I will do, I will go through all the photographs and I will find the best can candidate something that I I can do something it's not talking to me it's not really but I have to produce because it's a plain area you, you promise to produce um, and I hate this I really hate this I love when I I'm scouting on my own time when I have time 
and I'm going and sometimes I'm dr I can drive for two, three, sometimes five days and then suddenly I find one place, I can find one place and I see maybe like three, four really good spots and I and I'll do the sketch, I will think about it, I will take a photograph and when I come back home I look at the photographs like wow why I mean sometimes I'm scouting not even I don't have my uh, painting box I my in my backpack I have maybe sketchbook and majority of the time when I'm scouting I have only uh, camera so I'll take the photograph and I come home and I'll double check and I'm, when I'm looking at the photographs and I feel like wow I'm, I'm repeating those butterflies right it's, it's the same feeling then I will, you know, I'll, I will go and grab my uh, all the gears, and um, oh, I have to kind of. The sun is going down, and I will get get my backpack, and I will go on the same location, and I will paint. And it's usually, um, and I don't care if people like it or don't like it. I know I should be caring <laughs> because I paint, but at the same time, I want to make sure I'm satisfied as an artist. I have my voice. Sometimes this voice is ugly. Sometimes this voice is screaming. Sometimes this voice is not polite. I mean, what I mean is, you know, not. You know, there is may, maybe one or two people like like this voice. Painting and they, I paint for for this. Um, and this, I think, this is a main problem with. A lot of uh, artists because a lot of artists getting especially beginners they're getting into this trap of uh, in a quarter mile turn left on us 17 south you gotta make a left they falling into that trap of uh you know my work is you know people need to like my work and that's the biggest trap and the biggest lie biggest lie that you're doing to yourself turn left on us 17 south uh, you need to be professional yes your composition needs to be professional yes everything needs to be professional absolutely yes um, but it doesn't mean everybody needs to like it if everybody likes it you're in the wrong you know in the wrong crowd uh, you need to really rethink can i make the Yes. Continue on US 17 South Sorry. for five miles. <laughs> Driving. So I have 12 minutes. Sun is going down. All right. So this is my thinking. This is sorry for the long lesson. Uh, I didn't mean to uh, give you a lesson. I'm just sharing my information. So this is how I, what I'm looking uh, when I'm scouting. I'm looking to look for the butterflies. Um, I may not get it. I may drive today, I may drive tomorrow. I'm probably gonna drive tomorrow because I, um, I'm i not gonna paint, whatever. I have to find something to paint. So, uh, we have 12 minutes to drive. Let's hit number three. The sun will be down, unfortunately. Uh, maybe not. But at least we'll see the, uh, the composition if there's anything good. If not, uh, we'll go back home. We'll check the images that I took today, and probably tomorrow is the registration and stamping. Yes, by the way, tomorrow will be stamping, stamping day. So we're gonna stamp the uh, canvases, and I think there will be orientation or something. So we have tomorrow uh, to scout it as well. So we'll, I'll, you know, probably will be all day tomorrow because we need to find something. Uh, something good plus plus I forgot to mention it I did this I decided to paint this plain area kind of a little bit new style for me um, look more impressionistic so it's even more challenging and I love ch challenges so it's all good all right so let's get to location number three and check it out sorry guys I forgot to mention one thing I mean I just cut that you know that episode uh, talking about uh, finding location, how the criteria. So if I had to mention, um, I just don't want you to understand, have wrong impression that you have to find pain only when you find something good. 
Uh, use your artistic license. I, and I'm, I'm telling it to myself all the time. Like, Vlad, why are you, why are you spending all the time and all this time trying to find something special? Get something ugly and make it beautiful. And this is the, be- the this is probably the biggest benefit uh, from all the benefits that we have as a, as artists. We have this artistic license. We can we can change stuff. We can change the light. We can change the colors. We can change shapes. We can change everything. So the biggest and the, the, here where I'm I'm going. The biggest problem, um, especially with beginners, they try to make a photograph painting photograph uh, unless you are you know hyper realist or f- hyper photo realist and you're painting I'm, I guess that you're not a plain air painter right so as a plain air In painter half a mile, we use have the left two lanes to turn left onto Virginia 216 East Guinea Road we have this license we can move stuff so and I'm I'm, I'm trying to you know, remind myself Vlad, this is, you know, just... And this is basically, this is what I'm doing, to be honest. Uh, Use the left two lanes to turn left onto Virginia 216 East. This is what I'm, this is what I'm doing. You know, if I won't find something special that is, you know, that is really touching me, I'll find something and I will make... Continue on Virginia 216 East for four miles. And I will make it, try to make it beautiful. Uh, and I'm trying hard. Uh, so, this is this is how you scout location. You first you you're scouting something to find something that really touches you, so you can talk about this t- through your painting. If not, and I'm talking about competition when you're on competition. If not, find something that you can change and make it beautiful. So basically, find something uh, not ugly. Maybe not completely, <laughs> or maybe it's okay, but it's not that beautiful that you're touching yourself. Make it so it will be like, wow, this is what I want this place to look like. This is the colors that I want to change, and uh, just you know, be in your in your world. So basically, you close your eyes, this like inside eyes, what you see, just paint what you what you can, what you can imagine. From the scenery, of course, it's not necessary. I mean, th- this is biggest biggest problem, you know, uh, when painters try to paint so that the place will be recognizable. I think it's the biggest mistake, to be honest. I know that some, sometimes people are, oh, where is this? Is this on uh, that marina or this is on that street? Um, you know, sometimes like, yeah, whatever. This can be anywhere. <laughs> Uh, just you know, make sure the combination, the composition, is and a co- combination of the colors, the palette, what we call, is great. So people will look. So if you, when when people go into the gallery, they you know your your your, your uh, painting is standing out because of the color composition, the brushwork, you know, or that that's what I call a screaming voice. So that that's where I'm going. All right. But right now I'm going into location number three. See if you can find those butterflies. <laughs> if not, I'm gonna spend probably tomorrow. If not, we'll make something beautiful. All right, so let's let's keep going. Sorry, guys. Now, guys, if you have butterflies looking at this, something is wrong with you. So I'm glad I took some photographs of this right here, right there, the reflection in in the uh, puddles. Uh, gorgeous and I'm gonna go on the pier see on the pier actually uh, some images as well guys this is something that you should have butterflies in your stomach look at this Uh, it's just awesome look at that look at this I I got this uh, scenery I love this this is actually looking looks like it's a fisherman up here so I'm gonna come here tomorrow and we have like there as a boat, sink, sink boat. We have boats right here. Um, scenery even behind me is a, is a gorgeous. Right here, the boats. Uh, but I really like, look at this. Look at this reflection in the water. It's unbelievable. Uh, but I really like this, you know, I don't know what is this, unloading dock. Um, 
looks like they're loading here and doing something and I have no idea but it's just looking gorgeous Ooh, I like that <laughs> so I'm glad I came uh, even horizontal you know um, piece right there I'm talking about uh, right here and right there I mean a lot a lot a lot to paint um, but I like of course this guy is not gonna be here tomorrow uh, but you know, the whole thing is uh, even if you come closer let's go closer I mean it's gorgeous gorgeous place I took already some photographs so um, I took photographs and then I'm shooting video sorry um, but if you look right here so this is actually kind of working there's a crab right there <laughs> like crab in the boat um, the water is doing something there actually somebody actually working there looks like somebody is actually working inside uh, I see that some noise is coming but I, I'm I imagine this maybe uh, in the morning when people comes and sunrise it's a very old style you know um, in the water and vertical horizontal water skies skies we can imagine we can paint something so uh, so the sky is changing right now let me take another photograph of this okay All right, the sun is down. Uh, it's actually much darker what you, you know, see on the video. Uh, so I'm gonna, probably gonna head home or you know place where we're staying, and we're gonna definitely is gonna come back here tomorrow and then continue scouting. Maybe half day, and then maybe come here in the evening and paint. Uh, I love. Oh, look at that! Look at that sky! Look at this con contrast! All right, Continue we're going on State Route 651 for three quarters of a mile. I call it successful day, uh, especially this spot. I love this spot. Uh, definitely gonna paint it and change a little bit. Uh, probably in the morning, probably in, in the evening. Uh, we'll see. But plan for today. That's it for today. Uh, I'm gonna go back to our, you know, rental place. Load the. Uh, footage maybe I will be able to even post it today maybe not if not tomorrow oops have a deer and uh, that's it so this is day one travel and scouting see you guys here we go